My guests this week are Christine Fernandes and Olga Medeiros from the Team NOAA Foundation, which is in the process of constructing really a super accessible playground on Pope's Island near the City Marina in New Bedford. It's the work of a lot of dedicated people, certainly. We're here to find out about the progress of the playground project and a fundraising project to keep that work going. First off, welcome. Thank you for having us. Thank you. What is Team NOAA? Why don't we start with Olga or Christine? That's fine. Um, well, Team NOAA is kind of like um, a grassroots effort um, that we started five years ago in honor of my son, Noah Fernandes, who has since passed away um, in 2016. So now we're carrying on his legacy for him and um, to help other children in the area and families in the area like ours. When did this start? I mean, you, you said like five years ago, that like yeah. 2012 yes. or so, when you said, hey, we ought to do more mm -hmm. and leave kind of a, a, a lasting, I mean, I think you knew your, your situation yes. at that point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, how did it kind of start? Were you the impetus? Were your friends the impetus? How did it happen? Um, I had one, now she's a committee member of ours. At the time, she kind of pulled me aside because we had done so much other things for the community for the Schwartz Center for Children. We were big fundraisers for them and um, for other families. Whenever they needed something, we would jump in. Um, and she said that, you know, I think, I think now is the time you should be doing something. You have enough support, you know, behind you. You can definitely do this. And, and know that 100% of the money you guys raise are, is going directly into the community. We have faith in you and, you know, in what you guys do. So I think now you should do it. And we just kind of jumped in and said, okay. Olga, what got you involved? I've always done a lot of fundraising for different organizations. Um, I was um, the president of the St. Luke's Auxiliary for many years, and my thing is anything to do with children. That really draws my attention, and that really gets me going. So when we started first with Christine and her foundation, I was like, this is definitely something that I wanted to be involved in, and especially being with special needs children and the families and what they're going through. I wanted to make sure that we could do and make a difference for those children and their families. Now, of course, um, <coughs> Noah attended Schwartz yes, for a time. He did. And um, if you're involved in the Schwartz Center, involved with them, they they kind of have a blueprint, really, uh, to help raise funds. That organization is mm -hmm. a lot of uh, fundraising activities. Mm -hmm. um, but I have to tell you, when I saw the photo that you gave me today, really not a photo, it's a rendering of the playground. I looked at it and I said, wow, <laughs> this is a lot of playground. Yeah. And uh, what that means is you've got to raise quite a bit of money. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, it is a, uh, a challenge. How did the idea of the playground come about? Who, uh, who did that? <laughs> Christine did. <laughs> well... <laughs> We were sitting at home one day, and actually it was, I wanted to do something bigger than what we had been doing so far, helping like a couple families each year. Mm -hmm. um, and like the biggest project we had to date was the Jeremiah Project um, last year, right? In Wareham. In Wareham, where we rebuilt a home like extreme makeover style for a family in, um, in need there, um, who's the little boy went to the Schwartz Center also. So I just was like, okay, what can we do that's going to be bigger than that and that can affect more families in our community? Mm -hmm. And uh, when I mentioned a playground, <laughs> people were like, you know how much money that's going to cost? There's no way. There's no way. Where would you put it? Where, like, where do we start? And I'm like, well, we're going to start in the beginning. And mm -hmm. we uh, went to the mayor first to look for you know, a piece of land that he had and when he asked me what I was looking for, I told him Pope's Island. And of course he says, wow, okay, you had to go for the biggest piece of real estate. But um, he finally agreed and we just got the ball rolling from there. We had the piece of land and then our ideas, you know, we got architects involved and um, our committee and board involved and we just started with the fundraising and in um, a year and a half, we've already raised half of our goal, so almost 
$800,000 okay. towards the $1.4 million um, dollars for the playground. But we um, broke ground on um, September. Yeah, in September 25th, 25th I want to say. I think it was, yes. mm-hmm. September tw- Oh my gosh, these days. <laughs> and we're already in like week five of the project, and hopefully we will have our ribbon cutting in the end of November. Already. So. End of November. Mm-hmm. Mid end to of the November. End. Mid to the end. They're working very hard. <laughs> yeah, over they're there. working. Every Even in the rain, as I was Saturday, in. Sundays, <laughs> they're out there, and it's amazing to see. Amazing to see. Well, the rendering was amazing to see. I, I just can't wait for the finished product. It sounds uh, mm. like a, a huge difference. Now, the playground is going to be uh, an access. It's open to everyone, but it's, it's, it's an accessible playground. It is. And we're proud of that. We're very, very proud of that. Um, I got um, a focus group together of, um, you know, specialists in that area. It was like, you know, physical therapists, occupational therapists, um, parents of special needs children. We got them together and said, okay, listen, this is all of the pieces that we're thinking about. Which pieces would you want to see? What do you think would be more, um, you know, would benefit these children therapy-wise, you know, just having fun with their brothers and sisters and peers, and um, and they kind of chose the pieces. And what we came up with was what you're seeing in front of you, and um, we have two handicap um, wheelchair swings. Uh, we will have a merry-go-round that's uh, wheelchair accessible. All these pieces are wheelchair accessible. You don't have to take your child out of the wheelchair like Noah, who we couldn't remove out of his wheelchair. He had to stay on. So um, we have those pieces there. Anything that I thought would benefit my son was something that I thought would benefit these other children. So having the Kennedy Donovan Center in the community, um, the Namaskit group, we have, like of course, the Schwartz Center. Mm-hmm. Um, hopefully they'll go and they'll use it. They'll be able to use it as like a sort of field day or a day you know just a day away from school just to be kids and there's also bathrooms there as well which is very important for those children handicap uh, Mm -hmm. accessible Mm -hmm. yes yes absolutely now i'm sure every head of a nonprofit is listening right now because i'm going to ask you how do you raise 1.4 million (laughs) dollars that is an enormous sum it is. Yeah. We're extremely lucky. Yeah. yeah, we did it in two years. Yeah. Basically two years we raised that sum. Um, and it's because I think prior to that, whatever we've said we were going to do, we did. And we show the community through transparency that that 100%, no one pulls a profit, no one pulls a profit on the foundation. Uh, everything goes back to these to the kids. And our first year... Um, we did our wine tasting. Prior to that, we said, okay, the money raised till now, we're going to buy a handicapped van, the Team Noah van, to give to the Schwartz Center. And at our wine tasting, we had the van there. It was done, ready to give to them. So we're extremely proud of all the companies and sponsors, the donors that are so extremely generous generous, generous, generous to us. I mean, they, yeah. one of our biggest pieces was the first piece sold. Our merry-go-round was $80,000. And it had to come from Germany because, you know, we don't produce it here. Sure. So these pieces are very expensive and specialized, and we're so very proud. Um, I mean, if, if I can say that there's like this quote here that just came in. We just got an email sure. from a Ingrid Canix. She's an independent consultant for Canix Inclusive Design Services. So she just sent this to us and it got me in tears the other day because it says um, Noah's Place Playground will be the largest and most sensory rich inclusive playground in New England. It will be rated the biggest in standalone playgrounds in New England and top 15 in the country. Mm-hmm. And that's not something that we aim to do. We just wanted to do something for these kids and this is just it blows my mind how much uh, have you had any donations not not monetary but equipment material donated oh by goodness. local companies oh my goodness that's, that's what's been mostly we we have a tremendous um, backing so far of uh, people companies anybody that's been sponsoring us a lot of people have purchased uh, uh, different pieces of the equipment whether they've done it solely on their uh, through their businesses or they merged together with a few others because like Christina said these pieces are very expensive it's not your average playground so through a lot of the fundraising that we've 
we've done. We've done a lot of the soccer tournaments. We've done the wine tastings. We've done golf tournaments. And now we're doing galas. So this year will be our second annual gala all to raise money and the community has been just tremendous backing us up and do you know in us in order for us to get the funds we have started a gala foundation um, gala committee sorry and um, last year we did our first and it was very successful so this year we decided to do another one this year's theme is the mad hatters ball so we're looking forward to it and a lot of people are looking forward to because we know it's going to be a fun event and through again like christine had mentioned earlier all of these um, things that we do for the gala and everything is all funds to go directly to the playground Okay, we do have, we would love to have more sponsors to back us up. We do have quite a few, and we're very thankful for those. But if there's anyone out there that would love to help us with this project, we'd love to hear from you. Um, they can reach me uh, um, on my cell, which is 508-509-9789. Or if they want purchase tickets for the gala, they can also stop by my office, which is on 18 Cove Road in South Dartmouth, and I'd be happy to answer any questions or anything that they might have. So where can that. they get uh, more? Can they get more information on a website or anything like that? Yes. Is that, is that yeah, available? We're on Facebook on yes. the Team Noah Foundation, and our website is teamnoahfoundation.org. And you should, you know, you can. There's information the there about, uh, the, yes. about the gala and yeah. the sponsorships mm -hmm. and all of that. Um, and, and the general public can get involved by simply, uh, yeah. you know, following Olga's instructions about yeah. her mm -hmm. office or call or anything like that. And if folks simply want to make a donation to this project, can they do that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. How do they do that? To the Team Noah Foundation, yeah. and they can mail it to me directly at that uh, address, which is 18 Cove Road, South Dartmouth, Mass, 02748. And we also have a donate button on our Facebook page. So. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Very mm -hmm. good. Or they can email me, too, because I do mm -hmm. have the an email address, which is olga.teamnoah at gmail.com if they want just to purchase tickets or other information. We could do that, too. So the work is continuing as we speak. Yes. Oh, as yes. we speak here. Mm -hmm. Even uh, in the rain. <laughs> even in the rain. Um, it's, it's a remarkable project. It is a remarkable effort by your foundation, you two. Um, and um, again, November looks to be, late November looks to be the uh, time for a ribbon cutting. The ribbon cutting. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully. I think in the community, because everyone's worked so hard for this whole project to be done and stuff, I think we're going to end up with a lot of tears, a lot of emotions, because of all the hard work and the stress of really making this a reality that it's going to be a very, very exciting day for all of us. Oh, yeah, to see the children who this was meant to help actually using it. Um, and to know that, like, Noah must be looking down, smiling, and all this. It's just, it's a lot. It's, it's very emotional. No dream is too big, no. okay? And we have proven that through ours. So dreams can come true <laughs> if we have the people behind us, and it's a great project yeah. that, it is a reality. Yeah. We should uh, give a mention to the construction firm that's mm -hmm. pulling this together. Uh, they're specialists in this, I assume. Mm -hmm. what, 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 what's the name of the company? Well, the people who are putting the pieces, we bought them all from landscape structures. Mm -hmm. um, so they are putting those pieces on. We have, I, gosh, I don't want to like miss anyone. We have um, Trahan Landscaping, who donated the landscape, and we have MV Electric doing electric. Fernandes Masonry, our business that is doing all the masonry on the project. We have pff, the, a lot of them. just the poured rubber that's going to be covering the floor is almost a quarter of a million dollars. Mm -hmm. Oh, and also Voctech is there, and they're putting the roof on our handicapped bathrooms, which is not even in this picture. But okay. <laughs> um, we also yeah. have a life-size sculpture of Noah that we had made that will be there um, next to our um, memorial garden. Um, so it's we, there's different pieces and different like areas that everyone in the community can take advantage of and enjoy and being on the water. I mean, what what can you say about that? That's well, just it's a it's a wonderful it's location. Yeah, it is. I'm We're sure extremely that lucky. Uh, 
challenge to get. Yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, it is the perfect location. It is. And we do have, we will have cameras there. There's lights there. There's uh, obviously safety was our number one focus as well for these children, for the families or anyone. Because if a family is monitoring or taking care of a handicapped child or a wheelchair or something, you want to make sure the other children are safe. Mm -hmm. So we do have those you know and it will be monitored by the police and everything as well so it'll be cameras and everything there Mm -hmm. all right ladies thank you very much it's a wonderful project thank Thank you you so much for having us and i hope uh i hope you raise all the money you need and uh keep going oh we will noah's watching us sure and hopefully we'll inspire other parents to do this and that they can do it they can do it or even other businesses to join in and help us to meet the rest of the quota. Thank you, Christine Fernandes and Olga Medeiros. Uh, we wish you uh, much success with Thank this project. Thank you so much.